back with a new episode of Walden Glove. We're here with the Wilson 1786 Roundup. So one model, I've got six different variations here. We're gonna take a deep dive on each model and tell you about all the different features. The models that we selected for you are first an A2000 from a couple years back. This is a brand new glove, but this is a pre-super skin glove. So we'll talk about what A2000s look like before super skin. We've got a brand new SC86 from this 2023 model year. We've got an A2K that we broke in with our Umomi process. We've got a Wilson Staff. This is a stock glove from 2023 autumn winter. There's some new updates to the Wilson Staffs. And this one is a premium kip, which is a really nice leather. I've got a super treat here. This is a pro stock custom Wilson Staff. And this glove was actually broken in by one of the Wilson Staff Japan uh, members who does a lot of these 86 break-ins. So this is very cool and something that we can dive really deep into. And then last but not least, this is the wannabe hero. This is a rubber ball glove in Japan. Similar price and maybe similar quality to, you know, an A2000. So something to think about and I'll get more into all these gloves as we get into each segment. So stay with us and learn all about the 1786 by Wilson. Thanks a lot. We're back with the A2000, I call it the MLB model. Um, these are any A2000s from a few years back when Wilson was still the official uh, sponsor of Major League Baseball. Um, this is again, you know, pre-Super Skin. So this is what 1786 uh, gloves look like before we had our Super Skin and Snake Skin patterns. And I have it heel open so I can show you um, the heel pad at that time was also thicker. And so depending on which uh, 1786 you buy today, it may have a very thin heel pad or it may have a half pad uh, like this one. Uh, so something to think about. I really recommend these gloves as an entry level glove. I think I picked this one up around $200. And for $200, these have really good leather. They have a great feel and they're medium weight. They're not too heavy. Uh, you can break them in with water treatment or you can break them in just by playing catch uh, dry and they break in pretty well. So I would highly recommend these as an entry level. I think that they fit uh, that market really well. So older A2000s, if you can get them, definitely pick them up. Back with the SC86. So SC86 is the 1786, but the spin control version, uh, this is a new glove. It has the thin heel pad and it broke in quite well and I'm sure it will be a really good glove. Uh, but some observations that I have is that it's heavy. I was really surprised that this ended up being the heaviest glove in our glove roundup. It also leached a lot of black dye all over my hand. And I was surprised because it didn't feel like the leather wasn't that great of quality until I really took a closer look. And what I'm noticing is that the black leather that is not spin control is a reasonable quality. It's definitely finished, you know, to make it look smooth. It's not really, you know, that good of leather, but the spin control seems to be either a different grade or this process of putting these dimples in really seems to ruin the texture of the glove. And so that's the biggest kind of takeaway for me is that I guess spin control works if, if that causes it to grip the ball, but the leather itself does not have that same feel and same stick. So something to think about um, and something to consider. So this for me, I wouldn't really recommend it if you have other options, especially at the price point, because it's kind of heavy and it doesn't have the best leather. So that's my review of the SC86. A2K, my favorite A2000 
that's available in the United States, um, you know, regularly available. Really my favorite, and I'll tell you why. This is real pro stock leather. So when you get to an A2K, I know they call A2000s pro stock, and I wish they made their branding or changed their branding and marketing a little bit because this is real steer leather. It's made in Japan. It's made in the American way, meaning it's shaped. Um, it's a very similar construction method to an A2000, but you can immediately feel the difference. Um, I got this A2K for under $300 on a sale. If you ever have a chance to pick up an A2K uh, on a discount or on a sale, please do because these are some of the best gloves made. So let's go A2K. Entry level luxury. This is the Wilson Staff stock glove. This is a 2023 autumn winter. So this current collection that's shipping right now in Japan. It has an update, it has a thin heel pad, and it's premium kit. This is one of the lightest, best performing gloves I have ever put on. Um, really great job, Wilson Staff. The glove you've all been waiting for, the Wilson Staff Custom Pro Stock Leather. It's broken in by our Wilson Staff Specialist, Nakata Atsumu, and it was sourced from Baseman in Tokyo one of the most legendary glove stores in Japan. This glove just feels different. I've encountered a few custom Wilson staffs and I have to say that the quality is on another level. This leather feels like some of the best steer leather I've ever felt. And the break-in is really next level. Um, you can see the bowl shape here. Um, it's really meant to be worn way off the hand and it feels like it's gonna perform amazingly. So I'll get more detail here as we play more catch with it. But this is a very cool glove, and I can't even really compare the steer leather to any of the steer leather that I've seen from Wilson, uh, any of the other pro stock leathers, because this is definitely a much higher, much more premium grade. And I love the way that Atsumu-san broke this in because it's retained its stiffness, and it, but it has the great hinges, so you can feel and see how it's gonna close, but it's stiff and it will stay this way for a long time. So I feel like this glove will be similar to like a Rev 1X that just keeps that big bowl. As long as you don't overstretch this thing and you wanna keep this small for middle infield, I think this can really keep this uh, bowl shape and something that's very, very uh, cool to see and good for me to be able to compare you know, my Umomi break-ins versus, you know, the staff master of Wilson staff. The wannabe hero, your favorite rubber ball glove. What's rubber ball? That's a rubber ball. It's played in Japan at the rec levels instead of little league baseball. It's played instead of slow pitch softball. You play rec rubber ball. It's really fun. The ball's pretty hard. So the concept that a rubber ball glove can't be used for hardball maybe doesn't really hold much weight. And so these non-shiki rubber ball wannabe hero 1786s are great gloves. And at the price, which is similar with currency conversion and shipping to a entry level A2000, I would rather play one of these. So if you gave me an SC86 or you gave me a wannabe hero, I would take this all day long. They feel like they're much better made um, and they use super skin, which I like, instead of spin control. So super skin is my favorite of these synthetic materials. It's the only one that I like. So this glove's super sick. It's the J-Rod uh, colors from the Mariners. Uh, I wanna make the same glove instead of navy. I wanna make it in black and teal and white. So. Maybe someday I'll be showing you a custom 86 made out of the Sirius Kip Wilson staff and you can check that one out next. The 1786 Roundup is complete. Wow, I learned more than I ever knew before today going through all these different variations of a very, very popular model of glove. Um, if you have something that you know that we didn't cover, leave it in the comments, hit a like, hit a subscribe, and thank you for watching Walden Glove. Check out our next episode.